Hi everyone. Seth Alchemist here. Thank you very much for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. Today is going to be a tarot reading. It's going to be an energy reading for November. November is month number 11. It's the month of alignments. We have in numerology number 11. It's one of the master numbers out there. And this coincides with fall and winter on the way, meaning to settle down, meaning hermiting for some people. It also means that it's time to review. Review your life, review your goals, review your soul, your purpose, your mission, and what you came here to do. So I'm going to invite you to pick one of these two decks that I have right here. Either the Hermetic Tarot deck or this other beautiful Pyramids deck. So feel free to pick the pile that resonates with you the most. This is the energy reading for November 2022. I'm going to start with the Hermetic Tarot deck. I'm going to leave the Pyramids deck for later. So, what does November 2022 hold for you? Okay. First card I pulled, and I want to show it to you before I pull the other cards, the High Priestess. Okay. You're on top of your game. Ooh. Nice. So. This is very interesting, by the way. I want to show you something here. The High Priestess is the first card that I pulled here. And it's a, the Major Arcana in Tarot number 2. It's represented by number 2. But on the cards, on the Hermetic Tarot deck, the numbers are written in Roman format, Roman numbers. So it is number 2, but it looks like 11. It looks like 1 and 1, as you can see. You see at the top of the card, at the top corner, it's 1 and 1. So it seems like it's 11, which is coherent with the month, November, because it's 11. So... You're very aligned for you guys who picked this pile. You guys are super aligned. The High Priestess upright. You're on top of your game. You're full of knowledge, wisdom. You're inspiring others. You're dominating your crafts. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're on the right path. There's a lot of love for what you do. Everything you're doing has so much love. And it has uh, so much passion. And it has so much positivity and this love um, it overflows to other people it overflows to the people around you to your family to your relationships to your partner to you everyone around you there's gonna be so much love so much passion so much wisdom and knowledge to share with everyone I sense so much happiness that's what I'm feeling for the people who pick this pile and um, everything you've been wanting, everything you have been dreaming about is going to seem easy for you. It doesn't matter if it comes or not. That's what I'm hearing. It doesn't matter. But things are just going to seem like flawless to you. And that's what matters because to manifest something, the feeling has to be there. That's very important. So if you feel like that, that means that you can manifest anything you want your goals, your objectives, your plans. What else do we have for you in November? What else do we have? Oh, this just fell off the deck. The Hangman, another Major Arcana up right. Amazing, another Major Arcana here. This for me represents, when I see this, is that you're gonna 
learn so much new information in this month so much because this is the month of settling it's the month of hermiting it's the month where um, it's the transition from fall to winter so most people around the world not everyone but most people especially if you pick this pile you're gonna find yourself hermiting a little bit and with this hermiting will come a lot of information the universe is gonna put on your path your guardian spirits your guardian demons are gonna put on your path a lot of knowledge that is necessary to becoming who you are and to stepping into your power so this is great I see here uh, ancient Egypt ancient Greece um, Kabbalah occult alchemy um, th there's so much things that you're gonna learn about magic about occult practices and it's gonna benefit you it's gonna take you to a whole other level so this is great um okay 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 so here it's like a little warning came out of the cards here it's not a warning it's just a statement the statement is there might be there might be the abundance you had or the money that you had or um, the finances that you've been having the things have been going good for you things have been doing great like uh, in um, August in September October don't expect the same for November that's what these cards are saying don't expect the same thing things might slow down and this is natural even the animals start to hibernate and hide even I mean it's just how the seasons work and for you the awakened ones the masters and the mages and the witches you are connected to nature your spirit is attuned to nature so obviously when nature's when nature transition and goes into winter and hibernation and and um and hiding the same is going to happen for you and you have to adapt to that you have to learn from nature and adapt to it and mimic it because your soul is so connected to nature because you're you're a witch you're a mage what do you expect you don't work um um as a normal human you're not you're not having a, just a, a simple job and even if you do in your private life or back at home you are attuned to spirit you are connected to spirit therefore don't get sad or, or and don't get um frustrated if you don't see them the same amount of money that you made um in the previous in the previous months the abundance is it's not gonna be there as me because i sense here that you were expecting a lot of abundance to come in november and those expect those expectations are not gonna meet reality they're not gonna meet it and you're gonna be disappointed so this reading is preparing you to not be disappointed in advance which is good so at least you don't have any expectations don't have expectations because the feeling as i mentioned earlier the feeling is going to be amazing don't spoil it with your expectations don't spoil it it's okay the hermetic principle of rhythm states that sometimes the wave is going to go down it's okay if the wave goes down it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world it means that it's going to go up again and this is exactly what's the case here for you What else do we have for the Hermetic deck here? Again, here we have um, your energy is gonna, it's almost like I sense it's, this is the time for you to recharge your energy. You're gonna take some time to recharge your energy. You've been going out a lot. You've been doing a lot of things. Now uh, the weather is getting colder. It's getting gloomier, cloudier. Maybe there's rain. There's maybe uh, rain where you live. Um, so it's time for you to kind of focus the energy on yourself and kind of bring that energy that you were um, Giving away that you were using for your life, which was necessary at that point It's time for it. It's time for you to bring that energy back to you and focus on yourself Because it's the season. It's a natural thing and we're following nature because nature is the best teacher and at the bottom of the deck I have here this beautiful nine of pentacles uh, saying that if you do so 
if you focus your energy on yourself and take the time to uh, recharge, relax, learn, and feel, take advantage of that happiness, that happy feeling that's gonna come for you, then money's gonna come. During the month, maybe you're not gonna see the money, but then eventually abundance and money is gonna come your way. So this is what I have for you. This, is, this was actually quite amazing. This pile was really, really positive. It was such a positive energy and I like it a lot. So um, yeah, I'm gonna move on to the other pile and see what spirit has for you. This one here, right here. What do we have for November? I'm sensing a huge change of energy between the piles. This pile is actually so much jumpier than the other one. Um, let's see what we have here. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Huh. For you, this month, look at this beautiful card that showed up here. Look at this. This is the first card that came up for you. I hear one word that spirit brought to my mind. Spirit brought to my mind this and for you this month. Look at this figure before I say the word. Look at this figure. It's upside down meditating. This is fascinating. By the way, this deck is the first deck that I have ever owned. It was given to me and it's as if it was channeled. The art, the art in it, it's as if it was channeled from another dimension. Look at this, the figure in the middle. So the word for this pile for you, it's revelation. That's what I heard when I picked this card. I heard revelation. For you, it's revelation. You see that pyramid with the beautiful eye there and the figure? This month for you is gonna change your life. And what I'm hearing from spirit is that literally, th this is not something to be taken as, um, oh, it's just, yeah, it's just another reading. No, this month. And if this resonates truly deep inside with you, because it is a collective reading after all, but if this resonates with you, this month is gonna change your life because the revelation that's gonna come to you about something, and it's something spiritual, something from the spirit realm, something from the underworld, and you're gonna see it only with your third eye, as in you're gonna meet your guardian demon for the first time, something like that. But hold on a second, not meet, it, meet your guardian demon as what everyone keeps uh, writing in the and telling me all the time, uh, I was, oh, I met Lucifer, yeah, Lilith, I met them, I met... No, no, no. We're not talking about intention and the spirits of these deities, yes, they may be present with you, but I mean, you're gonna actually meet, actually, your guardian demon, and it's gonna be so real that you're gonna freak the hell out. And it's not gonna be a Goeshic demon, it's gonna be your own spirit. It's something that's gonna just change your life, but on a spiritual level, on a spirit. Like you're gonna gain this, this access to this world that you've never seen before, but this is gonna be part of the underworld. It's gonna be part of the, wow, this is, like get ready, like I'm feeling something big, something huge. I was not expecting this from this, from this pile. This is crazy. Um, and then the second card that showed up here for me is the Fool, but the Fool in this deck is depicted with this flying horse or jumping horse, meaning that I'm hearing from Spirit here. Listen, when when this revelation is gonna come to you, when this crazy thing, Spirit is gonna, is gonna come to you, you have to go with it. 
Don't be scared and reject it. You have to become foolish. Foolish as in, in a positive way. You have to be fool. You, you have to become airy. You have to embody the spirit of the air, the spirit of the major arcana, the fool card. You have to become airy and not be scared and accept what's going to be given to you. Because spirit is saying if you get scared and you freak out because it's going to be freaky and you freak out, it might not happen again or this spirit or this opportunity, this, this revelation might not come in your life. At least in this reincarnation, it might not come again. So you have to embody the spirit of the fool and the fool is the master. Do you know guys something about the fool card, about the major arcana, the fool, which is fascinating? You know that a master, you know that you can't become a fool unless you're a master. And you know you can become you cannot become a master unless you're very intelligent. Unless you're very smart. Unless you're very wise. And you're going to ask, "Wait, so you're saying the wise is a fool?" Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. A wise person, a sage, he or she are actually the fools. They're the only ones, meaning that they're the only ones who know how to be like a fool or to embody the spirit of the fool. Because <laughs> when you embody the spirit of the fool, you can get to places no one has ever seen before. But to become a fool, you need to be wise and you need to be smart and you need to be intelligent. That, that doesn't make sense for you, right? Okay, maybe one day you'll understand what I'm saying because this is a little bit, you know, complicated. But only the fool, only the person who has the courage to become like a fool is the one who gets to the mysteries of the universe. And I'm not meaning here the fool as in like, oh, you need to become stupid and dumb and do crazy things in your life. That's not what I mean. What I mean is to be daring. And what I mean is to do things that people don't dare to do for their own benefits, not for their own destruction, for their own benefits. So be careful when this shows up, don't run away from it, okay? Don't run away from it. It's gonna be huge, it's gonna be big, and it's gonna take you to new, um, new, new levels of, of uh, of spiritual existence, if that makes sense. This is, wow, this is crazy. This pile is, uh... <clears throat> yeah. It's something, uh, the cards here, even the devil card showed up here and wheel of fortune, both upright. Devil, devil card with the pentagram reversed. Beautiful, beautiful Major Arcana. And the Wheel of Fortune. Like what's what's gonna be revealed to you is gonna be so magical and so out of this world that um that that you're not you you're gonna have a hard time to wrap your head around it. Like you're not gonna understand it, you're not gonna like it's gonna be too much to take for your soul. But the Wheel of Fortune, this thing is going to get you a lot of money physically. But you need to know how to accept it and how to use it because it's from the underworld. It's from the underworld. And even this figure here, see the upside down figure? Upside down because it's pointing towards the underworld and the cube, the cube of magic, the cube of mystery. The cube is the symbol of the hidden of the occult of the unknown if you didn't know that in sacred geometry so what you're gonna learn is gonna come from darkness it's gonna come from the underworld it's gonna be beneficial for you you can't run away from it it's magic magic is real and you know these religions and these dogmas why they forbid magic from humanity because they were scared of it they were scared that humans when if they if humans learn magic they can make miracles happen. But, of course, people in control, they don't want 
miracles to happen to people. They don't want that. And that's why they make it as something forbidden in all religions. All religions forbid magic. Well, at least the monotheist, at least the monotheistic religions, they forbid magic. Because they know that it's true, they know its powers, and they want to control people. They want to control you. So, so if magic shows up to you, don't refuse it. Because magic is the most beautiful thing that exists out there. Or you prefer to wait until science proves it, that it's science, and then you can accept it as something normal. Well, good luck. Wait for science another 300 years to explain magic. It will. Science will prove and will explain magic, but it's going to take a few hundred years. <clears throat> and one last card. Whoa, it's so jumpy. Like... So many cards flew out. Okay, it's a lot of cards. I'm not gonna pull them. I'm gonna shuffle again. And here. It's the last card that I'm pulling for you. This magic, this month, November, for you, it's gonna unveil something new about yourself that you didn't know before something that was hidden inside of you it is you it's you but it's something that you didn't know and that thing is gonna allow you to know your whole existence and everything about it and that's what i have all right I hope this reading resonates with you. Both piles were amazing. I'd like to thank all the spirits that were present in this reading. Let me know in the comment section if it resonates. November is going to be an amazing month. And I'm going to close the portal. Prost!